How you doing? I'm going to do another movie talking thing here, so we'll see how it goes. Um, today I'm talking about The Accountant. Come out in 2016. The movie's two hours and seven minutes long. I'm not going to make a we've talk about it for that long at all. I think I popped the popped the limit there. I'm trying to record close to the limit, but I don't know. So, the this accountant um, first starts off the movie. It shows him as a kid with a military dad and mom and dad split. He has Tourette's or something somewhere where he can't stand loud noises or lose things or not finish things. Um, they call this uh, an action movie, drama, thriller, which is pretty good. And then, he, then he becomes, uh, uh, after um, part of the movie, I guess, dad and him get into a fight with somebody at the funeral of mom. and. They, uh, so Dan Affleck plays the, uh, the leading role in this one, the accountant. They call him Chris Wolf in the movie. And he, um, he ends up being, ends up learning uh, as a kid martial arts and all that. He goes uh, martial arts and self-defense and how to hurt people. He goes into the military and learns how to use a rifle and other weapons and stuff like that. So that makes it, uh, sets the plot for a very interesting movie. I liked it. It was pretty good. So, um, as Chris Wolf, he, he, uh, has, he does accounting for crime wards, um, crime bosses. And he, he, he does, uh, he gets in and does the accounting and gets out with his life. And people usually die because they break his moral code. Which is pretty good, a pretty good way to, to do things. It's kind of funny. And I can't even open my bottle. There it goes. Anyway, so um, after he gets out of the military, he takes on it. Well, he, he starts after he gets out of the jail after after he he does a favor for a friend which is a pretty interesting, which is how the Treasury Department gets on his trail and tries to find him, catch him, do whatever. Arrest him. So he's got some kind of handler on the phone. He never gets to see her. So he's driving a pickup truck, a Ford. Looks like a three-quarter ton pickup truck. Yeah, my NCIS window is flopping around over there bothering me. Because I use the movie, watch the movies on Plex on my TV, and, and when you're not using it, it goes to a screensaver mode. It puts the cover for whatever you're watching, movie, on and bounces around the screen. So I guess your TV, if you leave it on and leave it, walk away for a long period of time, it, it sets it up so it don't hurt anything. So anyway, um, the accountant gets called up to this firm through his handler and uh, does the job. He gets grease pens all over the whiteboard, all over the windows, and finally figures it out. Then the, uh, the in-house accountant gets in trouble. They try to kill her because once he figures it out, they, they don't want the information, the problem that they're going through exposed to the public or world, whatever, police, because they're on the shady side. So he ends up, because he was on his way to run, and then he ends up going back to save the, the lady accountant that, that helped him get all set up in there because he involved her accidentally from getting dead. So he ends up going finding her address. She won't answer her phone, so he ends up going back there and that's when the fight scene starts. So he gets to Christian Wolf gets to beat up and kill in the movie at least, um was it four or five people, destroys the apartment, takes her on the run and puts her in a motel or goes to a motel for the night. Then ends up going back to a 
travel trailer that he keeps supplies in in a storage locker. He gets uh, he gets guns and tools and figures out what's going on and then and, and then the uh, interesting part is when he ends up going after the person that's responsible for all of the mess and problems that he's experienced and because he solved the puzzle he um, he ends up going into a, an armed compound or house and uh, ends up putting down all the security. I'm trying to figure out the best way to place this because it's hard to say stuff on YouTube or Facebook. Because I've been having a problem with Facebook taking down stuff on my pay Facebook page. I'm just about ready to close the thing, but we'll talk about that on another video. Anyway, so he ends up meeting up with his brother he was raised with and learning to fight and all that. And then they, they duke it out for a while and then at the end of the movie, the bad guy, the guy that caused all the problems with the place he went to do the um, the accounting for, uh, broke his moral code, so he goes back and takes care of the problem by killing the, ends up killing the guy and gets in touch with his brother, then um, there's more to the movie after that, but I can't remember it. So I gave this movie on the, on the Plex, um, rating system, I gave it a 5, and when I wrote a review on it, I kind of like it, so, um, I'll put the, uh, information in the, in the thing, in the, the comments below, and if you've been watching and you kind of like the movie content that I even know I'm rambling on most of the time about these movies, just put a like and a bell on there, and um, support me that way, and then I'll give you other ways to support it. If you're on Patreon, then you're already supporting me, and if you're on some of the other the other four um, places where I've uploaded this video directly, so that if YouTube takes me down, it's still a big deal. I still got four other places that the video's out on. If you're on any of those other places, then you're probably already paying me anyway, so... And I'm going to figure out how to get the PayPal donation thing set up. And I may be looking for money for a project that I need to get done and get out of the way. Because it's causing me problems. With COVID and all the pro job problems that I've been having. Well, well it would be earlier this month. Because, yeah, that you just recently... Uh, watch the videos on um i'm running out of money so the project that i was saving to put money in the money got put someplace else and so i'll announce the um, donation account depends upon which one i use to and what it's for in one of the videos not that it's going to get me any help but we're going to find out and try just be aware it's coming and it may be, you may see it before the first year, and you may see it after the first year. I don't know. We're going to um, figure it out. But this one, you should be seeing, well, you see it right now, so you're seeing it now. I just don't know what date that I put in it out. You know, I know what date I'm recording it, but I don't know what date I'm putting it out yet. So anyway, that was the account. Real good movie. Lots of action. Um, lots of mystery. Lots of intrigue. In some parts of the movie to keep you on the edge of your seat. What's going to happen next? Why is this? It's got real. It's real loud, real noisy, lots of gunfire. You know how it goes. One of those good movies that I like. One of those type of things. So it's a good action movie. I do recommend you go watch it and um, put it in the comments what you think and if I missed anything and maybe we'll do another review with your comments or about your comments in the, on the movie. But for right now, this is what you get. I'm going to call it good. I don't even know how long I got going on this one. Anyway, whatever it is, it is. We're just going to let it be.